What is good y'all, this is JV here and I'm back with another album review for you guys, super excited about this one. Finally we can go into Luna's uh, Free Somebody first mini album, uh, so excited about this, she is my bias in FX, if you're not familiar with her work, she is part of the Korean uh, pop sensation, if you will, group out of SM Entertainment, FX, uh, they've been on a crazy fire run of just super classic k-pop albums starting with pink tape that wasn't their first album that's their second album but i feel like that's when they really found their groove followed up uh with red light then they came out with um what is it called four four walls sorry uh four walls and she's not the first soloist to come out of fx amber was the first she did a fantastic job on her solo debut and now we have Free somebody. She kind of dropped the music video kind of out of nowhere. It felt kind of abrupt. Uh, we're fresh off Tiffany's, you know, uh, promotions. She did a great job on hers. And so we've gotten a number of solo female vocalist releases this year. And I gotta say, off the top, Luna's Free Somebody is my favorite full body of work out of the Korean pop scene this year. I gotta say it. Like, that's just me being honest from a vocal standpoint, from a production standpoint, from a, just a songwriting standpoint. I think it's just an incredible body of work. And the girls at, in FX have shown themselves that if there's anything they can do is they can make a full body of work. And K-pop hasn't been one of those genres that necessarily make the best albums. They make great singles. Uh, they have some nice B-side ballads sometimes, but a lot of times the, the projects themselves fall flat or they get often, you know, overlooked because there's not much really going on there. But I gotta say, FX, uh, you know, even dating back to Pinocchio, because Pinocchio's a solid album too, and they've had their mini albums like New AVO and uh, Electric Shock. Uh, but, you know, just that Pink Tape and After, that those three albums are just incredible. Just incredible top to bottom, fire you know, albums for in and uh, Luna, you know, definitely, you know, takes that torch and keeps it moving and that joint stays lit the entire time. I think this is a fantastic project. So the way usually I go through these albums is uh, I go track by track, give you guys my quick thoughts on the, the song itself. And then at the end, I give my overall thoughts on the project itself. So uh, first we have Free Somebody, the titled song of this album. She released them. Uh, music video to it that I thought was one of the most innovative uh, you know releases this year uh, has this really kind of like artistic trippy acid trip kind of vibe to it mixed with some live action sequences where she's dancing in an elevator and it's super cinematic to me it, it feels like a, a G2 music video mixed with a red velvet music video if I had to simplify it uh, and here we get some UK deep house sounding, future house sounding, uh, garage, you know, style production with her just absolutely killing it on the vocals. It's moving, it's energetic, it has a great groove and bass line to it. And uh, yeah, definitely my favorite K-pop song at the moment, you know. Uh, I think she just sounds fantastic. And the good thing about this is that she doesn't get drowned out by production. She's an amazing vocalist. And, anyone doubts that show them that masked singer show that she was participating in that she racked up her wins on she's an incredible vocalist and gladly which like for example and i hate to compare uh you know artists especially one you know when they're in the same label per se but i can't help but say uh tiffany for example who's a great vocalist i feel like got kind of drowned out by her own production on her last project and i feel like finally you know we have someone like luna who really stands up right there, has some bomb production, and does not get overshadowed by it. And her title song, I have to say, is one of the best songs on the album, so that's also refreshing to say. Um, that's followed up with the song Breathe. Uh, we basically get kind of like a power pop ballad where she can flex those vocal chops even more so than she did on Free Somebody. And um, I was so glad that they, you know, incorporated this. Again, we're, we're getting that EDM kind of style, and uh, I'm so glad that while you know, there's like um, YG per se who moved towards a lot of like the Western hip hop trends. Uh, SM kind of tuned into what can we do? And they're like, you know what? Nobody's really doing this deep house thing. And it's definitely making headway in Europe, obviously. And it's starting to crack open with artists like, you know, Justin Bieber and PMA. There's a couple artists uh, that are popping off here stateside and some EDM DJs that incorporate deep house into their music. 
uh, we should definitely try that. Even guys like DJ Mustard, who whole lot of loving, for example, with Travis Scott. So it's making its way here in the U.S. And uh, I'm so glad that you know SM jumped on that. They did it on Shiny's View, if I'm not mistaken. They had uh, Girls Generation do a release uh, like that, and now we have uh, FX doing it, and Luna continues it. Uh, absolutely 100% for this sound that they're doing, this production is not only, and it's not done in a trendy manner either, it's definitely done in a very sincere, clean, it's, it's some of the best Deep House production I've heard in a minute too, so shout out to SM, I think they're doing a fantastic job uh, production wise and, and songwriting wise too, because Breathe is an absolutely beautiful song. Uh, we have Keep On Doing It, uh, or sorry, Keep On Doing uh fantastic track we kind of have like a trip hop kind of feel with some deep house influences in it as well but there's something about the drums that it has a slight swing to it so it's definitely having you groove to it it's one of the more up-tempo tracks on it uh definitely reminiscent of what we saw on free somebody but this is definitely the one of the more pop hits on it along with galaxy which we'll get into uh yeah keep on doing tempo goes up and then it brings you into i wish which is interesting because that's back into ballad mode and it feels like it kind of like alternates between high energy moments and the ballads we get i wish where uh i believe she does have writing credits on one of these it's either my medicine or i wish and uh sorry can't quote me on wait let me i have it here uh, songwriting skill yeah okay she wrote uh, my medicine which we'll get into but I, I wish was absolutely a uh, beautiful track uh, love that and then somehow she brings up the tempo again with the fifth song on the album galaxy and uh, this is definitely the most pop moment of it we get some basically like electro house rave trance kind of music on here uh, and her vocals are sounding fantastic uh, this style of pop music is not necessarily my kind of cup of tea, but I definitely think she sounds amazing on this instrumental. And then it finally brings us to the last track, uh, My Medicine, where the tempo goes down again. And she uh, basically flexes those vocal chops yet again. And uh, I think it was just a genius way to kind of set up this album where it's like high energy, low energy, high energy, low energy. Uh, you know, we, we have the, the pop moments and then the more emotional moments. And it basically shows how versatile of an artist Luna can be that you not you don't only get ballads from her like that Zico produced track that we got earlier this year. You don't just get the pop, you know, form um effects sounding stuff. No, you you can get both. She could put both on a project, alternate the songs and still make a cohesive body of work. And that's why I have to say that, you know, she made arguably the best pop album so far this year. And there's lots of contenders, you know what I mean? Jessica put out a great album, Girls' Generation. Like, there's lots of dope albums uh, that came out this year, but I gotta say that my favorite, personally, is Luna. Uh, there's dope stuff going on in the R&B scene, too, so don't don't comment down below, oh, but how about, you know, Dean and Crush and blah, blah, blah. That's R&B, that's different. We're talking pop here. I gotta say, th this project, fantastic. Uh, glad that this is a great year for pop music. You know, AOA's dropping some fire stuff. And uh, I think Luna did an incredible job. She Again, she is my bias. And if, if this project did anything, I would have to say it reaffirmed why she's my bias. After listening to this, I'm like, yep, I picked the right one. Uh, curious as to what y'all thought about it. Did you like this album? How do you think it compared to her four minute? Uh, sorry, I keep saying four minute. I apologize. How do you think this compares to her FX material? Uh, how do you think she sounded vocally? Production? How do you think this compared to a lot of the other pop releases of this year. Let me know what's up. I'd love to hear what you think. Till next time, this is JV. I love you guys. Bye.